can look around at any one time, Singapore is always in a state of construction. A building like this has been there for so long and, and there are the memories that you, you associated with it. And if everything were to erase, uh, I'm not sure whether this is just a place for work and nothing else. We need to really uh, take pause. It's not just about tearing, it is, it is also about enabling a, a kind of history to be continuous. It was this very interesting moment where I met Guo Pao Kun in substation and he has been a great influence in my life because there was a part-time work to do signages and one of the moments was he brought me to the courtyard he kind of hold up my hand and wanted me to, to kind of feel the place it was a, a moment of revelation because uh, it, it teaches not just your eye to see one could look at a space and listen to the space in there In the case of Warehouse Hotel, we are involved in the whole refurbishment, the whole conservation part, as well as uh, getting this whole entire Warehouse Hotel up and running. This is the city's back door, and here lies... This is a historical place itself. It used to pile along a lot of bum boats, uh, were carrying goods, commodity, during the late 1900s. This river has seen in a way, witness the whole hundred years of how Singapore develops. One good example is uh, when we uncover the layers of paint in front, there were 23 layers of paint. You know, just imagine the history that they paint over and over again. In the early 70s, 80s, there was a call when Singapore was riding on globalisation. There was a need for an international hotel. Here we are, this is where the swimming pool, where you can see all the city view around you, which we call it the urban living room itself. Looking at over here, 360 view, you can see that we are all surrounded with buildings. Behind me, you can see that it's all the gleaming condominiums built at different times of, of the year. We are very happy that the swimming pool that we have built with the uh, authority uh, understanding because our narrative to the authority is not because we want a facility of a swimming pool but rather we wanted an open area where one could actually get that sensing of the city. And uh, I think it's very important that the guests that actually comes in understand the historical significance of the place. Being born in the 70s, Basically, the rate of change is weakness by I don't have a primary school to talk to anymore because it's, it's, it's gone. It's been a telling sign that how personally I'm been affected because it's a part of history in me that this memory just go off with it with a new development. The Bidadari is an important space for me because this is where my younger sister, who passed away at an early age, and at every occasion, every year, this is where we will go and this is where we spend that contemplative moment. That place right now, of course, is being part of the redevelopment. It is going to be a HDB enclave. Uh, I think this is something that common story of that development that we, we often uh, here and, 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 and have to deal with it, yeah. But I did the artwork that in the open house, I erected a wayang stage in Bidadari itself. It was a stage that played to no one. Uh, in fact, it played to the goals of, of, of Bidadari residents, basically. And, and that was my way of, of remembering uh, the sacredness of the place, the memory of my, of my sister, where I do spend time uh, reflecting upon. We are not obsessed with a style, we are not obsessed with a trend. I guess we are always trying to find what is that story that we wanted to tell. The more we look back at our history, we're able to stretch and we know our future better.